Greetings, greetings. My name is Elena Ra and I'm here today after such a long time. I'd like to welcome you to this podcast and I would like to share with you my journey over the past two years. As some of you may know, I have been in um, a deep process as I have prepared myself to um, be of service in a wider way, in a way that will inspire and serve in a way without a shadow of a doubt. To step into the world with all my gifts and to make a difference and to continue to make a difference. So the past two years have been um, of deep processing, of a lot of soul retrieval, of marrying aspects of myself that had been split or separated, bringing aspects of separation or duality together to marry within myself the light and the shadow, the masculine and the feminine, all polarities. And I have to say, it wasn't necessarily an easy journey. The journey to the soul takes courage. And most of all, I've discovered it takes faith to trust, to step into the unknown, to go to the deepest areas of your soul and to accept whatever you find there and to find God there. So many times during the journey I wanted to turn back and I realized that as I broke through just that little bit more that I found myself and I found grace. I'm sharing this because we're all on a journey and I chose the One Spirit Interfaith Seminary as a holding bay for this journey. And this is the first time that I trusted enough to allow myself to be held. Fourteen years ago I took vows to myself and I married myself and that was the birth of Elaine Ra. And even though recently I took vows and I went on a journey, this time it was a journey of pure faith, a leap of faith in fact, whereby I was held and all I needed to do was to trust that all will be well. Even times where I felt forsaken even times where I may have even lost my faith and wondered what it was all about. And I'm here now to say that I do not fear the light and I do not fear the darkness. In fact, that was part of my vow. And my vow also included, I am undone. I am unbound, I am unraveled, I am naked, and I am empty. And from the living breath that breathes within me, I know myself as sovereign, divine, and very much human. And this is also an affirmation and a mantra, a place that holds me in grace. And as we move through life, sometimes we forget who we are. We forget our greatness and we forget our vastness. So by having had this experience of being stripped to the core of who I am, the very essence of Elena and Elena Ra was stripped 
to the bone. There was nothing left. And at times, that was scary. All identities had been vanquished. And all that was left was pure consciousness. Humility, peace, love and surrender. And this is the place from which I shall be in service to the world. I have learned that the journey home back to self is the journey to God, to God Goddess. The journey home is the journey to the seat of your soul, which is in the heart. To go to all those places that need retrieval or healing or forgiveness or kindness or love or realization or celebration, kindness, promotion, letting go of whatever you find, whatever that might be. The journey of the soul is the most important journey. It's how we evolve, it's how we, are, it's how we grow from one lifetime to another. The journey of the soul is what helps us to evolve as a collective consciousness. The more we are able to realize the truth of who we are, beyond duality, beyond separation, beyond fear, beyond the smallness, beyond the veils or beneath the veils. Once we're able to become naked, free from bondage, all the fears, all the trappings of our own making and our own thoughts and belief systems and identities. Once we're able to move beyond that, to honor aspects of self, the mind, the ego, the body, our emotions, our feelings, to recognize that they all work together as our, as our inner technology. But they're not individually who we are. We are consciousness itself. The being that is looking from behind these eyes is the same being that is looking from behind your eyes. That is where the phrase God Self experiencing God Self. The energy that is breathing you as you watch this is pure consciousness, is pure universal intelligence that causes your breath to inhale and exhale that calls your heart to beat. It has nothing to do with your mind or any other aspect. This is something that is divinely ordained. So by virtue of our living breath, I say to you, you are divine, you are sovereign, human, noble, virtuous, innocent, and perfect, whole and complete. Know this to be true, children of heaven and earth, remember who you are, I love you. Walk well. So, I really want to thank everyone 
who has shared their love and kindness and support for all your beautiful wishes and salutations. I want you to know that I truly see the God in you, in all your magnificence, in all your beauty, in all your sovereignty, in all your divinity, and in all your humanity. As we awaken and have the courage to step forth as preordained sovereign divine beings. This is truly a journey of remembrance. My ordination was the recognition of what had been already preordained. And ceremony is something that we don't have in the West to help us realize, to help us alchemically step into our vastness. And the whole journey included a series of initiations, a series of ceremonies and rites of passages. And this is very important for the human soul. So we can truly move forward as integrated and sovereign beings. I would like to share a blessing. If you'd like to breathe with me. Beloved God, sister and God, brother. I see you in all your magnificence. I send you with wings of gold and light, the abundance of the earth, the abundance of the mind and the heart. I send you freedom Freedom of an overactive mind. Freedom from apathy and stagnation. I ask that all the ancestors and ascended masters, all the angels and archangels, all your guides, Divine Mother, Father, God, to hold you and support you so that you may know that everything makes perfect sense. All that is required is for you to step forward as your expanded self. I ask the angels to show you signs I ask your ancestors to support you and to ground you and to encourage the ancient archetypes to step forth from within you. I call upon the starry realms to remind you that you are also of the stars. May you always be divinely guided and protected. My name is Elena Ra. From the bottom of my heart, I thank you. It's a new day. And I would like to thank all of you for supporting me and to see my journey, to observe my journey. And I'm here to tell you there is nothing to fear. And having walked that path myself, I am here to support you to walk through your path. 
because I know there is only glory that awaits you. I love you. My name is Elena Ra. Until the next time, be well, walk well, walk tall, be brave, be all of you. Shine, shine. Do not be afraid of the light that you hold. And do not be afraid of the darkness. For without the darkness, how would we know the light? I feel such joy and such peace in my heart as I have passed through a threshold that has set upon me deep faith, deep wisdom. So much has been restored now that my vessel has become empty, what has been restored has so much more space to fill, so much more room to grow and expand for all to see. So often I used to speak about how beautiful do you dare to be? How powerful do you dare to be? How expanded do you dare to be? How present do you dare to be? How naked do you dare to be? I am another you. We are the ones we have been waiting for. I love you. My name is Elaine Ra. I see the God in you, beloved stars, children of Mother, Father, God, children of heaven and earth. Be well until the next time. I love you. Namaste. Please do not hesitate to contact me. You can contact me via my Facebook page. You can inbox me and I shall get back to you in response. I'll be offering my services as a spiritual counsellor to help people know who they are, to bring in light codes of healing and connection to serve towards human soul evolution, to hold ceremony, to bring back the rites of passage and initiation. I shall be offering my service and places where people can gather so we can re-explore what it truly means to be human.